It's R M Kids time where we learn about Jesus. It's R M Kids time and how we came to save us. It's R M Kids time, many fun things we do. It's R M Kids time, inviting you to view. Hi, welcome again to R M Kids time. I am Auntie Petra, and I pray that you all had a blessed week. Remember, you all have to still be washing hands and cleaning up. Practicing these things become a good habit. Now, that reminds me that this week our lesson is on habits. So let's close our eyes and pray and get right into that lesson. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will bless these children and keep them safe, Lord. Help them to enjoy this time of our lesson and worship. In Jesus' name, Amen.
and they're small. So that's not a habit. And I guess teeth and it's not a bad habit too. All the children pack up a bad habit. Here we're going on. Sit up, sit up, sit up. People better pay attention today. We have to talk about something. Risa, take your finger out of your mouth, girl. We will talk today instead about having good habits. Let me look in this word here, you see? So much men in the world had good habits. You see this man here? Daniel. Once we flip, we bound to find people with good habits. Daniel, anybody here? Ever hear anything about Daniel in the Bible? Yes. Hey, hey. Steve, what are you here about Daniel? He drink the lion's den? He got thrown in the lion's den. Oh, gosh, oh, they must my ears. They're walking to... Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. But do we know why Daniel was thrown in the lion's den? Because he prayed every day. Hey. So there's no good thing at all. There's still a bad habit, so? Daniel pray every day. And only every day. So like one time for the day, Daniel pray. Yeah. No. no. How, how much time Daniel used to pray? Three, three times. times a day. Three times? Man, I feel mm -hmm. Daniel used to pray more than that too. Daniel used to pray constantly. Morning, noon, and night, Daniel will pray. You understand? Until when, watch me, I you know why Daniel was praying. So Daniel was God's friend. Daniel did love to pray to God. And hear me? They set up a thing. Who know the story? What was going on? They set up a thing in the province. They say people have to pray only to the king Nebuchadnezzar. Only Nebuchadnezzar was to be worshipped. And so they set up a statue and say people must pray to he and to he alone. But not Daniel. They say, even if you pray to King Nebuchadnezzar, you know what they was going to do? Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, idea? Kill him. Yes, Steve, but you know the story, man. They say they would have killed him. They would have killed him dead, dead, dead. So this is how Daniel prayed. And if you're doing something every day, and you're doing something constantly, and all the time, then... Clearly, this thing going to become a habit. Yes, Steve, a habit. A habit is something you just do all the time, over and over, until it becomes a part of you. Just like Caitlin with the Steve. Mm, shame and Risa. Sucking Suck thing. thing. Yeah. But Daniel's habit. Take out your out of your mouth, child. Daniel's habit was a good habit. Daniel loved to pray. And you know something about Daniel's habit? Ha! Daniel's habit gave him in trouble. And it was the same habit that get him out of the trouble. Man, Daniel habit get him out of trouble in times past until Daniel get other people out of trouble too because of he consistent praying. Man, one time the king wanted the wise men not to interpret his dream at all. The king wanted him to tell him what he dream. The wise men wanted to freak out, you know, because they said he killed the king deliberately want to kill we like he looking for new people. But Daniel prayed and God showed Daniel the king dream and tell Daniel the king interpretation. What? So, what is this, Steve, oh boy? I was praying and I'm, I'm crying, but it's going out here. Well, don't worry about that. Listen to Daniel. So, Daniel get them out of the trouble that time. And you know, it's these same men who go to seek to put Daniel in trouble. These same wise men. Because after that, when Daniel was able to tell the king what he dreamed and tell the king the interpretation of the dream, big high position Daniel get, you know? The king make Daniel a right hand man. That mean any
anything Daniel wanted, Daniel could have get. Daniel had a right to tell people what to do and what not to do. Where to go, where not to go, if, when, and how, and why. And Daniel set up his boys too. Shadrach, I wonder if you know who else would have been boys. Meshach and Abednego. Oh, you know the name is good. Yes, them have a different story all on their own. That's our next story for our next day. But Daniel set up his boys. Everybody in high position. The other wise men. You know how they start to feel now because they get put out? Jealous. Jealous and angry. Yeah, well, there was no need jealous. Yes, she said there was angry too. There was vex. There was vex, not regular vex, you know. There was vex to the point where they say, man, Steve, what do you think they're going to do when they get over vex? They left fiery hot. What they wanted to do, Daniel? Steve, are you over vex too? More I bad habit, you know? know. Yes, Risa? He wanted to kill. Him. Yes, they wanted to kill Daniel. And this is why they set up set up the big statue and Nebuchadnezzar eh, eh, what me say Neb <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar they set up the statue and say everybody was to worship that statue if you didn't worship that statue you know what they would say in the, lions den. in the den of the lions anybody here know what a lion is Yes. A lion is not a regular animal, you know. A lion is not a mouse, you know. A lion is a big a type of cat. Yes, it is. What kind of song a lion is make? Roar. Oh, man, that is a roar. That is a pussycat roar. Yeah. Yeah. Lions is roar, and after lions, roar. What lions just love to do? Eat. Yes. yes. Lions want to roar and then bite to eat, according to Steve. Hurt and eat, mash up. But Daniel was not afraid because Daniel knew his God. Oh, how Daniel know he God? Because he prayed. used to, He had a habit of praying. And so even though they threatened to throw lion, Daniel and the lions, then you see, she watch and just threatened to beat you. And we'll see what she do. She stick back, she finger, and she take it out. Even though they threatened Daniel, Daniel went and Daniel opened back his window. And Daniel still? Free. Because it had become part of Daniel's lifestyle. Daniel couldn't help himself but pray. And so Daniel threw back his window and Daniel prayed. Because Daniel developed a habit. Children, let me tell you something that might cause all you to... Keep this habit thing in all your mind good and comfortable. I wonder if we are big people here. So let's spell the word habit for me. Habit. Spell habit. H A B I T. Man, let's take a sweetie. Children could spell habit easy. Just so, just so. Okay, enough for you. You're too big for a simple word like habit. <laughs> eh? I will get my coach if you are extra strong. Yes. All right, so you go get an extra strong out of the hand, coach. Eh? Right. But nobody can get these vanilla cookies. Remember, these vanilla cookies are spelled when the neighbor come. So Daniel, Daniel was thrown into the den of the lions, but he didn't care because he had a good habit. H A B I T. Hear me. If you have a habit and you want to get rid of that habit, you get vexed. You tell yourself you're going to remove the first letter. So we're removing the H. So we tear up the H and we throw it aside. What you will have? Who can tell me? A bit. A bit. A, B, I. So we tearing up the A now too. We crumpling up the air, we pelt it away. So we take away the air, we take away the air. What we have still? A bit. Yes, yes, Steve. B I T bit. We still have a bit. So we get in vex now. We mean business now. We had to get rid of this habit. So we're going to rub off the B. Rub off the B. 
And what do you still have? A bit. You still have it. You still have it, Caitlin? IT? Risa? You still have it. What? Whatever the habit is, whatever you already developed, you're working hard, but you still have it. it. And you take away the eye, like we say you do some praying and fasting like Daniel. You take away the eye, you know what still remain? Tea. 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 Yes, a tea. Yes, tea makes that sound. It's going to 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 that minute, reminding you, reminding you that it is still there, children. So whether you choose a good habit, like praying, what are good habits it have? Fasting. Yes. No. Going and to church. Going to church. Any other good habits? Praying. Yes, praying. How about reading the word? I read even, I, I even Yes, you have to persistently do what is nice. Read in the Bible. Yes, Steve, and be kind. And if you choose good habits and you practice them daily, it will become part of your normal lifestyle and it will be difficult for people to take it away from you. So children, instead of sucking your finger and teeth in, try to develop good habits and i pray the lord go bless all you to become even better children and grow good and strong like men like daniel yes children say amen amen that is the end of the story today I am Maya Miller and I am Sienna. And today we are making pizzas. We are making two pizzas, a pepperoni pizza with bell peppers and pineapple. And I will be making a beef pizza with pineapple, bell peppers and tomatoes. I will be making the dough while Sienna cuts up the ingredients. Um, so first we are going to use two cups of warm water with two teaspoons of sugar. And then we're going to add two packets of beef. Maya, why do you add the yeast into the hot water? We add it so it will activate so the pizza they will dry it. Mm -hmm. So we have the active yeast activated with the sugar and the warm water. And now we're going to add the flour, the salt and the olive oil here. So we're going to add 5 cups of flour. What type of flour are you using? We're using organic split flour. Cutting up the bell peppers. How much flour do we need? We need five cups of flour. Okay. Did you double the recipe? Yes, I did. What recipe are you following from which cookbook? You are following from a Naprima cookbook. Okay. okay. How many cups you got? Five cups. Okay. And then we're going to add our salt. We're going to add um, three cups of salt. I three don't... teaspoons of salt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we would be in hospital if we added three cups of salt. And there is Sienna laughing at Maya. Having fun in the kitchen. And you could even add less salt. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
cap. Now we're going to add our olive oil. We are going to add a half cup of olive oil. Sienna, how are you coming along with your sweet peppers? Good. I'm almost done. Okay. And now it's time to add in our yeast mixture. So like if your yeast does not bubble, that means that your yeast could be expired and you have to try again. So don't add all one time. Give it one final mix before you add it. Okay. Just to incorporate everything. And also mix the yeast. Mix the yeast together. Ooh. Okay. And add some. Don't add all one time. No, add more than that, but okay. So now I am um, going to roll it out here on parchment paper, occasionally put in flour. So my cut vegetables are done. So now I just have to cut up the onion and pineapple. When I finish, knead it again. So now we are oven to 325 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit and 180 Celsius. And now I am rolling out the dough in my pan. While I am putting marinara sauce on my pizza. that we've topped everything we're going to put it in the oven for 25 minutes and while it's in the oven you can tag your whole station okay. okay so this is the final product and we're now going to dig in dig in Thumbs up. Mmm, that pizza sure looks good. Well, that's all for us this week. Keep practicing those healthy habits and see you all next week. Bye.